Christmas memories. Good morning, you guys. I am so tired. I was up so late last night. I sit down to talk to you guys for a minute, and the gardener is here, of course. So you can probably hear him in the background. But I just wanted to check in and say good morning. It's gonna be kind of a busy day. I wanna try and get a lot done today. I want to film a makeup video. I want to, um, well, the people are coming to deliver my stuff today, so. I'm excited about that because, you know, I'm so ready to have a new stove. My stove, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I was real lucky when I cooked that chicken because it worked. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting a new stove delivered today. Uh, Hubby and I are going away for the weekend. Just, you know, some R&R &R time together because he's been working like crazy trying to take care of everything, you know, down at the office, what he's uh, been working really hard, um, getting his boards together, making them, shipping them, um, and it's just a lot. And with the cookbook that he and Mr. Make It ha Happen have coming out, it's just a lot going on. So we're gonna just take a couple of days of R&R, &R, so yeah, I just wanted to check in, say hi, welcome to the vlog. So I'm gonna have to pack a weekend bag, grab some makeups that I might or might not wear. A lot of times when I get away for the weekend, I don't even put on makeup, but I like to take some just in case. We we'll go out to dinner or something. But yeah, so crazy morning. Sorry if you can hear the gardener. I wanted to pop in and say hi before I started my day. Got my little coffee here. And yeah, I'll come back once he's done if I got anything else to say, okay? my old stove is out so now I just have to wait for him to put the new one in you're bringing up the new one feel like I'm spying on him you guys <laughs> this window is so dirty hey easy with my stove <laughs> you guys okay <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. So she's all in my new stove, oven, whatever you want to call it. I'm so happy. It's the one that I picked when I was at Best Buy. So now I have, is this hot? Because he was testing it out. It's not hot. But I have the five burners, the long one in the middle with the little griddle plate. I'm so excited. And then I have my two, my two different doors, two different ovens that I can use. I can use it like one or I can use it like two. <laughs> so, you know, it's the little things. It's the little things. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. And I'm so thankful to have a new stove that I don't have to worry about. Is it going to work? Is it not? Is it going to turn on today? Is it not? <sighs> and it looks nice. I love it. I've been wanting one of these double ovens for the longest, you know, and I didn't even know, honestly, that they had, you know, the kind that you can just slide in. I knew about the double ovens for the wall, you know, units, but just a regular slide in. As soon as I saw it years ago, I was like, I want one. I got to have one. So finally got one and it has this little ring here that is for, you know, if you're hooking with a walk. So that is really cool. 
Shoot, I guess hubby gonna expect me to cook tonight, huh? I ain't cooking tonight, honey. So I got my new stove. I got my new little ninja foodie. We good, though. <laughs> we gonna be cooking, okay? So another thing that I'm supposed to be doing this morning is going to storage to get the rest of my Christmas decorate. Well, to get all of my Christmas decorations because they're not here. <laughs> Don't even get me started. Some of my Christmas decorations are here in the garage. Most of them are at storage. So I need to go get those. But I kind of want to wait until hubby gets home from work because he has the truck. And I can just throw all of that stuff in the truck instead of trying to shove it into my little car. And you know when stuff come out of storage, it'd be kind of dirty and stuff sometimes. So... I don't want that dirty stuff in my car. <laughs> so anyway, I might be waiting on the decorations. Dang. But if I don't do it while he's at work, because we getting out of here, like, probably right when he gets home. So if I don't do it myself, I don't know how I'm going to do that. But anyways, you know what? I got a package on my porch this morning, and I think it's from NYX. I ordered some lip products from there, so... Y'all want to see those? Let's check them out. Okay, you guys. So, I'm in my beauty space now. Um, But I did. I got this little package on my porch this morning. And Instagram has really been going ham with pumping these different, you know, sales and stuff from the beauty brands. And, you know, offering that little 20% discount and all that stuff. So, I've actually been purchasing some stuff from Instagram. Um you know from these brands through instagram and i don't even know if it causes them to ship at the same rate same time quicker take longer i don't know but yeah so it's pretty cool so i just ordered some lip products because the lip products was looking real nice um on the nyx instagram so I got six different lippies. So these are um, the first three. Child, and they're supposed to be like the really pretty high shine, I believe. Let me get some glasses so I can know what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, so these ones say, child, did the glasses help? <laughs> Okay, so it says Shine Loud. This one is Trophy Wife. So this color here is Trophy Wife. I don't know if you can... That one look... Okay, is are they all clear? Oh, got it. Okay, so this is the color of the actual, like, shiny lipstick. And then, or lip gloss, whatever this is. And then they all come with a clear gloss on the other side to top it off with, I guess to make it even shinier. Ciao. Okay, so this color is Trophy Wife. Very, very pretty. This color is Gold Getter. So that color is Gold Getter. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. These are kind of like, you know, making me think of like spring and summer. But I'll wear them right now. Shoot, they're pretty. And then this beautiful chocolate one. What is this? Never Basic. These things are hard to read. So this is Never Basic. Oh, that's gorgeous. Same thing, you know, nice little clear gloss on the other end. So this is cute. These are really cute. Cute little double-sided um, lip glosses. And then I got this three pack here. It says, Gimme Superstars Shine Loud Trio. So these are some of the Shine Loud, sh Shine, who child is too early, I can't talk. <laughs> these are some of the Shine Loud um, High Shine Lip Colors. That's what they're called. So this one here, look similar to that first one trophy wife so hopefully i didn't order the same color twice but if i did i guess my daughter will be getting one of these but let's see here 
So these are the same, you know, same type, double-sided, color on one side, shine on the other. And let me read the box, honey, because child. Yep, this one, um, this one has gold getter in it. So I think this is the only one where I got two of the same because I'm pretty sure this is gold getter. Yeah, so I have two gold getters. Are they dang? They kind of look yeah, they the same. You just blind, KK, they the same. So now I have two gold getters. So one is going to go to my daughter, obviously. And she better wear it. <laughs> and then this one is, is it Global Citizen? So it's kind of like a, a really pretty tan nude shade. That would look gorgeous with like a dark brown lip liner. Lip she popping, okay. And then this one here is Ambition Statement. Oh, that color is pretty too. That would look really, really pretty with a brown lip liner as well. Pop this on the lips and she pow, pow, pow. Okay, so definitely going to put those next to my vanity because I want to use these like ASAP. They're so pretty. So I hate that I got, but obviously I really like that color a lot, the gold getter. Um, Because your girl bought it twice. But anyways, those are my new NYX lippies. Now I am going to pack me a little... Should I do it now? Just pack me a quick little makeup bag for this weekend and y'all can do it with me. Yeah, I think I will do that. I already know that I'm going to take this palette, my new Manny palette, uh, Life's, a Fa Life's a Drag Facelift palette because when I unboxed it, like I said, this is like the perfect travel palette for me. It truly is. It has my colors. It has my neutrals. And so I can just shapow pow bang. Take this. Take me a palette that has some pretty shimmers in it. And your girl is good to go. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab a, a palette that has some pretty shimmers in it to take along with that. And then I can pack the rest of my little weekend bag. Okay. Okay, you guys, so when I pack my little travel makeup bag, I try to pack it kind of as light and easy as possible, but I've already grabbed a few things um, that I know I want to take for sure. You guys know I have to take my Essence uh, Camouflage Concealer because that's what I use on these dark circles, and I decided to go ahead and grab this Uma stick because, you know, this is the one that has the highlight and the bronzer on it, which is really nice. It's a cream stick to take just in case, you know, I decide to use a cream. It's easy to just throw that in my bag. I grabbed a couple of my new lipstick NYX lip shines. And then this is where I kind of just, <laughs> when I want to just um, take my shop my stash items and place them for easy grabbing, you know, for me to sit down and do my makeup and stuff. A lot of times I'll just throw them in one of these little acrylics so that I don't have to keep going in and out of my drawer. I know, whatever. But I'm not going to worry about um, skincare because I usually put that in my toiletry bag anyway. I have like a whole skincare set in there. So I'm not going to worry about like serum and moisturizer and stuff. But I do need to grab a primer. The Huda Beauty Water Gel is nice. But I think I want to pull something else um, to take with me. I think I'm going to take my Strawberry Whip. This is actually one of my absolute favorites for mattifying and blurring my pores and stuff. So I'm going to take this one. This is like, um, definitely I cannot y'all, it is too early for me to be doing this stuff. I can't talk. I literally cannot talk right now. So anyway, I'm taking strawberry whip It's great. I love it. <laughs> um, and for moisturizer, I don't want to take my shot my stash one because it's kind of bulky and glass and stuff i do have this thirst aid moisturizing primer that i could take mm. 
Yeah, let me go ahead and take this because I haven't tried it yet. So this is my fourth ray or ColourPop Thirst Aid. This one is hydrating or, yeah, hydrating. So I'm going to take this one because it's a hydrating primer as well. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to go in order. So what do I need? Foundation. For foundation, I pulled my Wet n Wild for my shop mustache, but it's too light. So I'm going to give it to my daughter. I pulled a couple of other foundations. You guys know I used my Good Apple foundation but uh i don't want to take that that's kind of heavy i have this you know what when i travel i like to take stuff that's like foolproof that i don't have to worry about because nobody wants to be looking crazy when they're out of town so i'm not really going out of town i'm just going to la for crying out loud but i still don't want to look crazy so let's come over here and pick a foundation that we know is going to look nice. Oh, my NYX can't stop, won't stop. This stuff is the truth, honey. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and take this. Haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to need a concealer. So, of course, my Juvia's Place 11. That's my favorite. I'm not in the mood to try nothing new in my travel bag. For powders... Mmm, y'all, I'm so addicted to this Kat Von D foundation powder. I'm going to take this because this has just been doing me right. But I do need a lighter powder for under my eyes. So I think I'm going to grab a pressed powder for that because pressed powder is easier to deal with when traveling. So, yeah, let me grab a pressed powder that I know... Um, it's going to work nicely. So I'm going to go with this L'Oreal Infallible. As you can see, I hit pan on this mug. This is their Pro Matte. I use the Golden Beige for under my eyes. So we're going to take this. So let me put this in my little box. Um, What else do I need? So I got my foundation, my concealer, setting powder, under the eyes powder, I need my blush, highlight, and bronzer as well. I am so tempted to take this uh, Kiko Cosmetics highlighter. Y'all know. Oh, my gosh. I used this in my last makeup look. Oh, But, honey, if I break this, I will be so upset. So, she's going to stay at home. I think I'm going to do a face palette and make my life easier. Let's do a face palette so I can get my blush, bronzer, and highlight all in one. Ooh, I haven't used this lip bar one in a while. And this one is like perfect for travel. Has your bronzer, your highlight, your blush, and all of these work beautifully with my skin tone. So let's take this, make it easy. Put this in my little, my little box over here. Um, what do I, oh. okay, so I need a setting spray. I know I need a setting spray for sure. So let's grab a setting spray, y'all. Y'all get to travel around with me in here. Something small, of course, since we're traveling. We don't want to do nothing big. Um... Is this a setting spray? Oh, it's a dewy skin mist. Uh, let's see here. The I like the Milani Make It Last. I like to travel with that, but it's not really that tiny. I kind of, you know, I like to stay with sizes like this. Um, Tarte Stay Spray, but I don't, I don't remember how good this is. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I think I'm just going to take the Milani because honestly, I mean, my travel bag, it can handle, you know, a fix. Oh, I should just take one of my little Macs. Yeah, let me take one of my little Macs. That makes the most sense. This one, what is this, like Peony or something? I don't know. But anyway, this is one of my cute little um, Mac 
prep and prime fix plus settings phrase. So yeah, let me go ahead and just take this because these always work wonderfully. And it is the perfect size for travel. Um, so let's see here. What I like picking the absolute least <laughs> is like lip products and stuff, but I need to pick some lashes. So let me go ahead and pick some lashes. Make sure I have my glue and applicator and stuff. These are the lashes that I've been keeping close by. Um, you know, in my little drawers here to use. Uh, have I? Yeah, I have worn these. I can see that. And these are kind of simple, nice and cute. You know, look like they'll go with a lot of different eye looks. So... But these are cute too. Luna Magic. Oh, those are really cute. Those are a little bit more dramatic, I think. What y'all think? Eh, a little bit. Okay, so it'll be one of these. I'll see if I can fit both of these in my bag. I'll take both of these. If not, child, it's going to be one of those because those are cute. Let's just keep it simple. These Makeup by Tammy lashes I've been wearing lately, and they're so, so pretty. These are, what are these, Ava? Yeah, these are the style Ava. And these are really pretty as well. Um, I would take something like this because it has an applicator and glue and all of that. But what if that glue don't work? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be out of town talking about I need to go to Walgreens to find some glue. Okay, so I need to make sure that glue works before I just throw that in my travel bag. So anyway, let me put these back. You know, your girl likes to clean up as she go. So, put those back and then my little messy um, drawer for my, um, I always like to take some tweezers just in case I got some random eyebrow hairs. And then this glue, this actually works really, really well. If you can get used to using, you know, a lash glue liner, this actually works really well for me. Whenever I use it, it's super easy for me to put my lashes on. Uh, who is this? This is by Kiss. Kiss Lash Glue Liner. And then I'll just take this. This is actually running kind of low. I actually need some more glue. But I'm going to take this one and just hope and pray that I don't run out. You know, it's only for two nights. Ain't no big deal. Um, So I think that's it. Tweezers, applicator glues good to go and so while i am thinking about it i need to grab a liner that's something that i always try to make sure i don't forget um i need my liquid liner for sure and then i need which mascara am i taking my pat mcgrath or and this is just a pencil liner so, Beauty Creations Pencil Liner. Um, I always like to have just a black. So, I'm going to take that. And then, you know, let's just take the ColourPop Level Up um, Lengthening Mascara. I just grabbed this for my shot mustache. So, let's just take those. Is there anything else I need out of here? Um, oh, eyeshadow primer. I do not need my, look at this, this is almost out. This is my, um, y'all, how come I can't think this morning? Make a Revolution Halo. I use this for my cut creases all the time, but I ain't taking that. I'm just going to take uh, my eyeliners and mascara, and I'm also going to take, let me just throw those in there with my stuff for my lashes. But I do need to take my P. Louise base, honey. I am not going anywhere without that. Uh, what else? So we have um, our primer. We have our um, concealer for under our eyes. This is a mess. Hold on, let me straighten this out. Okay, so I had to straighten that stuff up because, mm, mm Okay, so let's just run through the list. I have my primer, moisturizing primer. I have my dark circle concealer, my regular concealer, my foundation. 
Um, I have my powders for under the eyes for the whole face. I have my full face palette back there, lip bar for my bronzer, blush, and highlight. I have my setting spray and I have a contour stick in case I want to use that. I have a couple of lip products. I need to actually pull some more before I forget because honey child, I will forget. Your girl needs a lip liner. So I just need something dark brown. Um, so I'm just going to go super dark brown lip liner. Put that in there before I forget. Um, and then maybe like a lighter brown. And a lot of times I'll use like eyeliners and stuff <laughs> for my lip liners. If the color works, it works. So this one is a little bit of a lighter brown from NYX. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that as well. Okay, so that is all I need for the darker lip liners. Um, I do like to have like a berry colored lip liner or burgundy, something like that, because that goes like with everything. Um, this here from ColourPop, this is one of their lippy sticks. This is something I can use as a liner as well as just a regular lipstick so i'll probably take this because this always goes with a lot of different looks okay so i'm gonna put that back um and then for my and i'm just shopping my regular shop my stash lip products or you know the stuff that i keep close to my vanity honey nobody got time to be digging through everything this color is pretty Oh, that's pretty. So maybe I'll take that. Mm. This, is this my new one? Uh, who is this? Sigma. Where'd I get this from? Cha. That's pretty though. You know, maybe I'll take that. Cause it, cha. Yeah, maybe I'll take that. That's a pretty color. Maybe I'll take that. Uh, and then I just, you know what? I just need like a new gloss, honey. Oh, this is really pretty. This is like from ColourPop. You know, one of the cherry collection. That really pretty red. Oh, and it's glossy too. Girl, I don't need to be taking all this stuff to travel with. Let me just grab one of my um, lifter glosses from Maybelline. This is a must for me. Okay, so I'm just going to take that. So this is what we looking like for now. Not a lot of variety, but honey, I'm only going for two days. Okay. Okay, I also don't want to forget sponges. You know, you have a tendency to forget sponges and stuff like that. So I'm just going to grab a sponge or two. <sighs> yeah. I usually like to take um, a few sponges. This is like a cute little sponge holder that I got off of Amazon. Um, if you want to check, uh, child, if I can open it trying to do this with one hand it's not cute but let me put this over here but if you want to um grab one of these from amazon i think it's in my amazon shopping list i have it in my description box so this is the new sponge that i got um look at that it's hard for me to get it completely clean but i got this from um what is it rare beauty during the sephora sale this is one of those that a uh, sponge that I got um, from my BoxyCharm and $34 sponges. So I don't know what it is with my tips. <laughs> I just can't get it out right now. But anyways, so yeah, I think I'm going to take this one because this one was nice, honey. Expensive, so I'm going to take that with me. So I have a couple of sponges. But it's cute because it has, you know, the little holes for you to put your sponges in or whatever so it's a cute little holder and they can dry in there too because there's is vented somewhere i don't know where it's vented but it's vented um and then i do like to take one of my little baby sponges for my eyeshadow primer so i'm gonna take that okay so i got sponges i always like to take a little headband so that um you know i can put on my makeup and pull my hair back 
some wipes, facial wipes. I always have to have those just for cleaning up. I always like to take some napkins because sometimes in the hotel they don't have regular paper towels. I already got all the stuff from my lashes, liner, mascara. And then I did grab my little brushes. This um, holder is full of brushes. It has like all of my ColourPop brushes in here. But of course, y'all know I had to add some extra brushes in here so that I can, you know, do those crazy eye looks that I like to do. Because the brushes that come in this little roll is not enough for me. <laughs> So I just added a bunch of extra brushes in there. So this, you know, it's kind of easy, you know, just roll it up. Easy storage, easy travel. So I'm going to be taking this with me. I take that all the time. And then this one I got from Shop Miss A. You know, it has like a few, what is it? It has some, um... Yeah, eye brushes in there already. So taking that with me as well in this cute little container. And then when I'm at the hotel, I just use this when I'm doing my makeup for my dirty brushes. Dirty brushes, clean brushes. Okay, so got my brushes. Okay, so I think you guys, the only thing I need to do is just find a um, pretty shimmer palette to go with this facelift palette. So let's come over here to my singles um, because I do have some of my, um, you know, other palettes that have like pretty shimmers in it over here with my singles. This is my Jungle Lights palette. This is always easy to take. I love, love, love those shimmers. I have, you know, just all of these palettes are full of singles. They're all full of singles. These are my DJ's Unique Boutique singles that she released for fall, I believe. Oh my gosh, they're so gorgeous. Um, but I'm looking for just some shimmery singles right now. Um, these are really gorgeous too from my girl, DJ's Unique Boutique. These are like my faves. Her beautiful multi-chrome shades. Chow, so gorgeous. I might take that. This is perfect for travel too. Cute little tiny you know um palette so i'm probably gonna take that one and then this is the break the rules palette that um from it's bell that i was talking about before to where they have all the gorgeous different colorful shimmers in here that i can use in conjunction with my other palette so these are gorgeous as well so and i like this palette because it's small it's small. I don't have to worry about, you know, I mean, if I break it or it gets destroyed, I will be disappointed because I don't even know if they sell this anymore. Maybe they do, but I will be disappointed if I break or lose this, but I won't die because of the fact that I have, you know, so many other beautiful <laughs> shimmers and multi-chromes that, honey, I am not traveling with. So... I think I'm going to take that palette and I'm going to take DJ's palette and I'm going to leave my jungle lights for now because I take that all the time. Um, Is there anything else? No, that's it, honey. We're going to keep it simple. This is it. So I'm going to take these two to go along with my facelift palette. And I think that is it, you guys. That's it. So I just have to put everything in my little travel bag. And then I will be done with that. Okay, you guys. So I apologize for the people that have like, you know, <laughs> that OCD issues like myself. And this whole setup is driving you crazy right now. We about to clean it up right now. So this is my makeup bag and it's from Caboodles. So, you know, it ain't nothing cute, but it's nice. It holds a lot of stuff. I have some smaller little makeup pouches inside of here that um, come in handy when packing a little travel makeup bag. I got these from Ipsy. This, this is the one thing that I actually loved um, that I have from Ipsy. So I have some little individual bags here. And then this is actually for my jewelry. 
so I can take this out because I don't know if I'm even going to be taking enough jewelry that I will need this but this is cute I got this off of Amazon it is a little jewelry you know thing let me see if I can adjust this camera a little bit so y'all can see a little bit better that might be a little bit better okay so yeah it is it's a little jewelry case so you can put your necklaces bracelets earrings all of that stuff in here it's really cool and it just you know stores nice and flat for travel so i like this but i'll deal with this later of course we're not dealing with jewelry right now so this cute little one with the lips on it i think i'm going to use this for my lip products so i'm going to grab the lipsticks that i chose and i'm gonna put them in here and then let me find my lip liners okay so lip liners i have throw those in there as well i like to keep you know certain stuff separate so that it's like everything is not just thrown in my bag so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this in my bag um sponges my sponges i need to have them in you know like a separate little plastic bag as well so I'm just throwing my sponges in a baggie, seal that up, throw that in there. My brushes, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my brushes in here because I like to have my brushes actually kind of on the bottom. So let me put my brushes in here as well. Um, I have all of my, you know, lashes and eye stuff, eyeliner, mascara and stuff. I have that over here. Um, I think I'm going to use this cute little butterfly bag for that. So let's put all of our, the lashes actually don't need to go in a bag, but all of this other small stuff, tweezers and applicator, liner and glue can go in there. Yeah, because will these fit in here? Yeah, they will fit, but it's like, it's really not that serious. Let's just do like this. Let's just make it fit, okay? So, okay, so we're going to put all of our eye stuff in here for that. Put that in there. Um, this other bag, nice uh, big size bag. I think I'm going to do, oops, I just closed it. I think I'm going to do like my foundation. Now, if I, you know, I better test this out because I haven't used it in a while. So I better make sure the pump is not clogged. So let me shake it up and check the pump. My tattoos are still healing. So, you know, if you see them looking dry and crusty, that's why they're still healing. And they're actually going through, some of them are going through their nasty, ugly phase right now. I mean, the bulk of it is doing good, you know, but like my K is going through its nasty healing phase right now so no worries it'll snap back okay so let me go ahead and make sure this pump works so i don't get out here oh child it just had like a, a a big splat okay so let me just squirt this i'm gonna squirt it in my closed hand just in case it goes everywhere I just have to make sure this pump is going to work. See, it's already stuck. It's already like clogged. And I know, you know, I can unclog it. Just run it under some hot water in the bathroom. Ugh, jeez. Okay, I'm going to have to unclog this before I take it. I might just pick something else, but I'm going to have to unclog it because it's clogged up. Okay, so she should be ready to go now. I just went and run a little bit of, yeah, she's good to go now. I just went, ran a little bit of hot water, but I took the um little pump off and just stuck a toothpick in there and it just unclogged it. So it's good to go. But yeah, this can't stop, won't stop. Oh, love it just in case so i'm just going to tape the top down on both sides so that the top will stay on so i'm going to put my foundation in here 
I'm going to put both of my concealers in here. I'm going to put my um, stick, you know, my contour stick in here. Uh, anything else? Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put these two lipsticks in my lipstick bag. So let me grab my lipstick bag out of here and add these two lip products in there. So that's that. And then I'm going to put, you know what? Let's just go ahead and put my primers in here with the foundation as well as my little baby set and spray which is locked and closed so this is like kind of like a complexion bag right here and so i just put this in here try to stand it up or something but yeah so we'll just put that in there um and then i have my face palette and my two powders so in this little travel bag, it does have like little side pouches and pockets and stuff, but I'm just going to put those on top for now. Not a big deal. My wipes and my paper towels for sure need to go in here, um, as well as my cute little headband. And then, see, I told you we nice and clean now, honey, nice and clean. And then, um... For my palettes, I do always keep bubble wrap for travel and for when I ship people, you know, makeup and stuff. So I'm going to put my DJ's Unique Boutique in one of these. I don't know if the, it looked like the Break the Rules will fit. So I'm going to put my little shimmer palette in one. I'm going to try and put this Break the Rules in here. I don't know if it's going to fit. But yeah, it'll fit. So I'm going to put this one in here if I can get it to go down. Come on, honey. She barely fits. Okay, so that one is in one. And then lastly, you know what? I just noticed on here that he has this tape pulling his face. I just noticed that. You see that? He has that tape on there pulling his face for the facelift. Ciao. And then I have this bigger one. To put this palette in so those are the palettes that I'm taking and I should be good to go so I'm just gonna put those on top for right now um, you know what I'm not comfortable with my powders just roaming around like that let me put my powders in a little bag okay so I got another one of my little old ipsy bags and I'm going to put my powder in here. Seal that up so I just feel a little bit more comfortable like that. So the only thing I really have just free. Will this fit in here? My face palette. Face palette fits in there too. Okay. Easy breezy. Eggs and cheesy. Okay. So see I got everything in my bag. And, and she seals. This is my whole makeup travel life right here, y'all. Okay? So, done with that. One less thing I have to worry about. Okay, you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and go to storage because I need to get my Christmas decorations. <laughs> and as much as I don't want to put this stuff in my car, I'm going to go try and get some of my stuff at least so I can finish my tree. Maybe I can find the stockings, but I got these trash bags. Sorry about that beeping, my door's open. But I'm gonna put some of these trash bags in the back of my car. <laughs> Scared of a little dirt, scared of a little dust. Not at all. But when it comes to them bugs, yo. Come on now. I need to. There we go. Oh, now it, it want to just go crazy. Seriously. 
That's what happens when you don't drive a lot. You know, just stuff be happening with your car and you don't even know what's happening. But anyway, um, but your girl, let me see a spider or one of them big water bugs or something running around. Child, I'm dropping everything and I'm screaming. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Mm, I do not really like going to storage, but sometimes I have to, you know, honestly, we need to get rid of that storage because it's like that storage got a whole bunch of stuff in there that the only thing that I go there for is Christmas decorations. We used to go camping a lot and because we camped a lot, we kept all of our camping gear and all that stuff in there because, you know, the garage is just full of stuff all the time, but we don't even... Oh, I gotta get some flowers on my way back. Every time I pass this corner, this, oh my gosh, I wish y'all could see. I wish y'all could see. Maybe y'all could see out the window a little bit, but she has, oh my gosh, the biggest, most beautiful sunflowers. Y'all gonna see, cause I'm gonna buy some. But we used to go camping all the time. We haven't even been camping. And honey, at my age, the next time your girl goes camping, it's gonna be in a vehicle that got wheels on it that's like a little hotel on wheels that's <laughs> that's how i'm camping next honey all that pitching tents and sleeping you know uh-uh them days is over for me honey i need something that i where i can sleep inside and be safe that got a toilet and a shower and a stove and a tv preferably in there okay so yeah that is the stage that I'm at when it comes to camping but yeah we used to do the whole shebang bang you know we get there pitch our tent you know get our little fire pit going um you know all that good stuff I would take the air mattress because you know it's like the sleeping bag on the ground thing it's not really my my vibe but not really my vibe but yeah i um i love camping especially if it's like by a lake or something love it but honey all that camping stuff we need to just give it away sell it whatever we're not using that mm -mm. and like i said the only thing i really keep in the storage for myself is the christmas decorations and honestly if he would just give up one of them shelves in the garage, I can keep my Christmas decorations at the house, okay? Which is probably what I'm about to do this year. So anyway, this is my storage. Um, <laughs> funny thing is, okay, uh, our storage unit would be... Um, the 666 unit but you know because they don't obviously want to have a 666 unit ours is 66a <laughs> i'm like we would have to get that one okay but yeah ours is 66a so not that y'all care so i'm gonna and another thing that i don't like about coming to this storage unit is the lock our lock is so freaking hard to open. I hope and pray that I'm not out here for like 30 minutes trying to open this lock. It's so annoying. So I'm about to pull up, hope and pray that I can open this lock quickly. And then y'all see what I'm talking about in this storage. It is crazy. <laughs> Y'all see this? <sighs> okay, let's get busy. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy. But now this year is twice as special because I'm hoping for us to fall in in this winter wonderland Chilling by the fire As I'm trying to get your attention Giving you a smile I can seem to look away I might be crazy But I think you feel it too Like a vibration right between us With a beautiful tune 
back window. So I'm gonna go home, take all this stuff out of my car, put it in the living room so I can get started. And then, what time is it? It's 11. Fix me a little lunch, a breakfast or something, okay? So while I was driving home, remember I told you guys about the lady with the sunflowers? Um, I did grab some, and these are what they look like. Aren't they gorgeous? Tall, beautiful, oh my gosh. So, so beautiful, okay. So it was like $10 per, you know, per bundle, and there's like three in these bundles, but they're beautiful. So I need to get, I have a big vase somewhere. I need to get my big vase which I stuck up here, which I think will be perfect for these sunflowers. So yeah, I think before I get too caught up in this, I'm gonna get all that Christmas stuff out of my car and then I'll come and get my little sunflower arrangement together. Y'all don't ask me where I'm putting these sunflowers cause it's all middle of winter. Ciao. But they pretty though. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time We got all of the Christmas decoration boxes in the house. So, ciao. We'll tackle this a little bit later. <laughs> so, now I'm going to go ahead and have some fun with my sunflowers. I think I deserve it, right? <laughs> guys I've never made a sunflower bouquet before but I think it came out pretty nice I had to cut quite a bit of the stock off I thought I was just gonna have to cut a little bit but I actually had to cut quite a bit so I know it's not perfectly <laughs> round and symmetrical but it's a little difficult sometimes trying to get these flowers to lay right but I love it I think it's pretty let me know what y'all think down in the comments below as they say is that supposed to be there i don't know it's stuck though okay but yeah these are gorgeous love them love them okay i'm gonna give me something to eat and take a little break before i tackle this christmas stuff okay so y'all i had to get me a little breakfast from farmer boys i don't know if they have farmer boys everywhere or if it's just in california it might just be in california but i had to get me a little breakfast so this is cute little pancakes and bacon and eggs real cute little it's like a little kid's meal or whatever but it's good it do the job and it hit the spot okay and then they have this little um caramel iced coffee so i got my little splendor because i'm probably gonna have to sweeten it up a little bit y'all know my syrup old honey because it still say aunt jemima <laughs> Okay, and, uh, don't say the Pearl Company on there. But anyway, I'm going to eat my little breakfast before I get going with these Christmas decorations.
Well, you guys, I'm happy to report my mantle is up <laughs> in one piece. It is complete, just a straight across the board mantle for my fireplace. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. It's just what my fireplace was missing. So, yes, perfect and ready for my stockings. What y'all think? Let me know. Very easy. I actually bought it off of Amazon. Um, it fit, you know, perfect sizing. And I think it looks nice. It does. This fireplace, compared to my old fireplace, you'll see. I'll If I remember, I'll put a picture of my old fireplace on here. It's just like night and day. So, yes, it's perfect. Now I can move forward with my Christmas decorations. And I think it's going to be beautiful. So, let me dig through these boxes and find my stockings. Okay. <laughs> 